Hello. You're about to see a video that will amaze you and remove any doubt you have about these never wet coated aluminum flanges ability to keep the small hive beetle out of your beehives. But first, two years ago I invented this idea of the never wet coated flanges to prevent small hive beetles from entering your beehive. When I saw it well work for me, I made the small hive beetle excluder video for YouTube and shared the idea with the whole honeybee community. I also sent emails and contacts to every honeybee researcher, bee research, bee research facility, college extensions, and bee magazines in the U.S. and in Europe, asking for them to test it and get the word out to the honeybee community. Of the dozens and dozens of emails and contacts I sent, there was only two responses. One was, let's see what the honeybee, honeybee community says about this, and the other was, so what do you, what do you want me to do with this? Since I didn't have a PhD or a doctor in front of my name, and I'm not attached to any research facility, the honeybee research community apparently thinks that some local yokel couldn't possibly solve this small hive beetle problem. I wonder if it has more to do with the grants and research money given to them every year. Well, I'm doing this for free and giving it to the honeybee community. Watch the video and remember that the honeybee researchers should be showing you these results, but they won't. Also, a special thanks to Blankenship Hives and Hicks Honey Farm, both located in Milton, Florida, for donating the beetles. Because I could only find eight beetles in my 31 hives, and those eight beetles wouldn't have been much of a video for you to watch. So, how I made this up was to make it resemble a bottom board with a hive on top. The top is act flat black, and it's got a quarter inch ridge, so when you place it on top, it looks like a void to the beetles for them to escape that's above the flanges. The front is just like your hive entrance would be when you attach it to the hive bottom. So with that in place, I've got three stimuli. I've got the bright lights, I've got the vibration, and I also have the hose to blow carbon dioxide into them. So with those three things that they hate the most, Hopefully this will make them move around and try to climb up on the never wet flanges and escape. Now the hive is set at uh, 82 degrees, perfect hive weather, or hive beetle weather. So we're going to put these in. You can see I've probably got 60, 70 hive beetles. They're all quite lively. I'm going to place these in the bottom board and get on with the show. And let's start hive beetle theater. Okay, as you can see, they're all starting to cluster up in the corners, trying to hide from the light, and I want them to escape. So I'm going to start uh, doing the vibration and blowing on the uh, hose to put carbon dioxide in there. And they hate that, that's for sure. And the flange in the back with, between the two red dots, that's a strip of Neverwet that's mounted vertically. And what you'll see is them walk up to it, probe it with their front legs. They're anchoring their hind legs onto the wood, and they're trying to get some type of traction. And when they don't, they will just stop and either fall or just give up. But they're all starting to cluster up. I'll keep blowing, and if I have to, I'll probe poke at them to get them to move. Because I want them to try to escape. Let's break up those clusters and see what we can do there. Because they do not have a very good outlook on for their future when I'm done with this test, let me tell you that. Their demise will be intimate. You can still see them, they keep walking up on that 
flange and they just stop. Absolutely stop. I'll keep probing at them and forcing them to try to escape. And just watch the reaction to that coated flange. You have the one back here in the middle and the ones all the way around it. Come on, get out. See how they walk right up to the flange, couple steps, they anchor their hind legs onto the wood, then they fall right off. That shows you they can't even walk on, they can walk on glass, but they cannot walk on that never wet strip that's mounted vertically. They walk on glass, so like it's not even there. Seems like I should have music playing with this video. See how they walk right up to the very edge, walk right along it. It's like they're probing with their front legs if they can get traction or not on that never wet flange. I think the biggest reason they're flying inside is because it is so bright in there. If that was a normal beehive, it'd be dark. They would just crawl around the edges because uh, from everything I read, hive beetles do not fly inside the hive. But you can notice this has to be, just so you can see the, the demonstration, this is twice the height of a normal hive bottom. Normally they're three quarters of an inch. And this is an inch and a half. I think that is the only reason why they're flying inside. I'm just trying to get them to escape over the flange. And once again, they're piling up inside in the corners. I cannot tell you how much I hate these things. They have cost me hive after hive after hive. See how they're doing reacting to that flange? They've got their rear legs anchored to the wood. He's trying to walk on it and can't. You can actually see his legs moving back and forth. See that? Cannot walk on it. I just put the top back on to make it look dark to them, so it'll probably prevent them from flying. Once again, watch that. See that? Fell right off. Watch this one coming up. Oh, he's not going to do it. Usually they'll, like I said, anchor their rear legs and just probe with their front legs, see if they can get traction. and they can't, then they just stop. It's the same reaction to the flanges that are mounted horizontally. They'll just walk up to it and they keep touching it with their front legs. And apparently their pads slip right off so they stop. See that? Walking up to it. See, you can actually see his little feet slip right off it. And that's the same same reaction that they get to the um, horizontal flanges. But that vertical flange really tells you how slippery that never wet is to them. 
Well folks, this is going to be my last Hive Beetle video. I've done enough of these. Pretty much has explained to you, showed you how to build them, what to expect out of them. This one last video was made mostly because I was shocked that the bee community, the research departments, didn't follow up on any of this. It was very disappointing actually. So I guess I'm doing the work for them and I didn't get any grants or money sent to me from the government. Anyway, folks, that's it for now. Uh, I'm signing off. Good luck with your honeybees.